This is Adrian Hart with your Southeast Colorado News on seconews.org. We're here at the Otero County Courthouse on election night uh, with uh, current mayor, Joe Ayala, uh, incumbent on the ballot here. How are you feeling about the first count and uh, our second count identical to the first count? Uh, we just spoke with our county clerk, Lynn Scott. She said about 550 votes to go. Countywide. 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 So how, not in a county way. So how, how do you feel about that, Joe? Uh, we, we feel really good about where everything's going right now. Uh, we're not declaring any victory by any means or anything like that, but we really feel good about where everything's at. Not just my race, uh, but 2A. 2A, that's the two big a. thing. 2A the... is what we we're all watching, what we're all waiting for. We feel really good where 2A's at right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping that that holds and that we, we end up successful on that. I want to give a big shout out to the 2A committee, uh, Lisa Pantoya, D. Leva, Shandro Ochoa, Kimberly Gallegos, uh, everyone that worked really hard on making that uh, where we're sitting right now. I won't say a success yet, but where we're sitting right now is all because of their hard work. Uh, I was looking at my memories this past week from last year, and you know, I was out there and it felt like a, a lone wolf saying 2B. Last year it was 2B. Right. 2B, we need to pass 2B, we need to pass 2B. And uh, we lost by about 600 votes. And, and to be where we're at right now uh, is just a testament to their hard work and everything they did to, uh, to make that happen. So we're, we're confident with where we're at right now, not just in my race, but, but in 2 way. Uh, and it's a big night across the board for the Valley. Uh, Dwayne Relay really? uh, is looking to, to probably become the mayor of Rocky Ford. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Kirk Crespin is looking to hold off the lead over in Prowers County. Uh, uh, big supporter of Kirk. Uh, I love the work he does and, and I like working with him. Uh, so, so we're really happy with all the results that are coming in so far. Mm -hmm. uh, HH isn't looking too good. We were against HH. Yeah, so, not locally. Uh, so, um, you know, we're, we're still watching. We're still waiting. Uh, thank you to Adrian, Seco News. Uh, I thank told you, him Joe. before I came out, I'm doing it because he treated us fair this whole time. Uh, and, and I appreciate that you always be in there, not just for the, the bad stuff, the right. good stuff as well. And you know, I tell people, I, I honestly, I tell clients, and, and I tell people that I don't have uh, alcohol, drugs, or politicians on my website. And it makes for a much better website. Um, we cover public meetings, and we provide candidate forums that give equal time and opportunity, and I really pride myself on uh, not you know feeding off that advertising dollar. Um, instead, we're here trying to provide unbiased and accurate uh, reporting uh, for the county election. And uh, we're the only media in the room yeah. upstairs. I'm reporting for a couple other uh, agencies uh, besides Seco News, which really feels good for for me to you know to share that. Um, uh, another shout out, uh, Maureen Rickoff. Looks like she's gonna. Uh, end up going for Ward 3, Chandra and Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Ward 2 is in good hands. Uh, Patrick Berg, awesome uh, showing by Patrick Berg for Utility Board. Yeah, he was uh, a over a thousand votes. A little over a thousand votes, so, yep. so awesome job by Patrick. It, it's just a really good night. Uh, thank you to all the cl uh, candidates for running. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that takes a lot to put yourself out there to make sure that you're um, in the ring. Uh, yeah. you, you're gonna have your voice heard. Uh, all the candidates, it don't matter where you were running for, whether you're running for mayor or council or utility board, thank you for stepping up and running. Uh, that, that's a big deal for us. Yep. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, I often say I wouldn't wish restaurant ownership or uh, political office on my enemy. No. You know, uh, and, and it's a tough job, Joe. But then nights like this, when you see your support, and you see, and you feel, you know, yeah, and you you see all the work you did wasn't on deaf ears, and, and you mm -hmm. get that coming in. Then those are nights when you, you're you're happy about it. So yeah. uh, you live, you learn. You don't take losses. You're just learning lessons, and that's exactly. What we're doing. And, and, and as I've said before, and on your forum too, don't take your ball and go home. That that's not how this works. You know, stay and and make sure you're trying your best to move this community forward. Uh, the, the people are, are speaking right now. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever the final results be, we'll, we'll go by what they say, but mm -hmm. um, this is how you make your voice heard, that you vote. Yep, very good. And uh, we're sitting at 37, 39% uh, out of the county. Uh, typically, we only see about 50% uh, from the last couple elections trending. Uh, so, uh, good turnout. Good turnout. We're going to have one more batch coming in, mm -hmm. um, and then you'll have some absentees, little stuff here and there. Uh, but if these these trends hold, 
uh, we, we really feel good about it tonight. So All right. uh, thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Seco News, everyone watching. Thank you, City of Blanta. Uh, we can't do this without you. Thank All you. right. For Joe Ayala and the people of Southeast Colorado, I'm Adrian Hart with your Southeast Colorado News.